everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be taking you through what it's like making a commission with me. So I recently got asked to create this sweater vest that's inspired by the infamous Harry Styles cardigan. And I actually have like until April to finish this. So currently right now, it's Feb 16. And I just wanted to take you guys through the journey of what it's like for me, like buying the yarn, um, designing it, thinking of my initial game plan, my drafting, my process, and everything. Hey everyone, it's been a bit since my last update, but then basically I'm gonna show you what I sent to the client. This is a sketch that I did of the sweater vest that she wanted me to make for her, so I have I had some questions for her here that I sent that she had to answer. Um, I gave some details to her about what it would look like and then we were deciding on colors. So she was able to pick sunflowers. I have to update this. And she was able to do her 50% down payment already. So I'm actually going to be checking out her yarn today. I am going to update you guys when I get the yarn and I actually start making the sweater vest. So it has been a little bit since I last filmed, but I finally got my yarn. Um, I think this came yesterday or earlier today. So I'm gonna unbox it and show you guys the yarn colors that I have. Um, I kind of filmed a little bit about like how I talk to my client and like how I discuss with them um, orders, especially if it's a custom commission. So I'm gonna open these and then I'll show you guys what they look like. So sadly, I had to get this from another store, like two different stores. Yeah, that's the seaweed color. And I'm gonna open the other one. Yay! So these are all the colors. So as I showed you guys a while ago, I'm gonna be using the red for the ribbing. And then the blue is gonna be for the v-neck. And then all of the other colors will be for the squares. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently March 3. It's a Thursday. But it has been a while since I last filmed. Um, I think the last time I filmed, I got my yarn already. So um, I'm actually going to start um, crocheting today. So for the sweater vest, before I did like half double crochets for the squares. But I think for this one, I might stick to doing either double crochets or half double crochets. So since I will pull up my little sketch right here, where is that? So since I am planning to just have like four squares for the front and four for the back, so I think I might be doing like five by five. Yeah, I have to do some math. I have to do some math before I actually start. But then yeah, I'm thinking that I'm gonna do like five by five or four by four squares so that I can like make sure that it all looks nice and pretty and everything. Four, so it's like definitely stressful and like you're trying your hardest, but can't do any more than giving it your all, so. Bang! That means that you should be, everybody go to the picture on screen, please. Go, 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 show me. Gavin, you're landing in the center of the next panel. That's why I'm asking. Dadin <laughs> So this mess is like the back panel of the sweater vest that I'm making and it's a mess because I have to keep changing colors and it looks like that and it's so messy doing it in public i forgot that it's like so hard to do that so i'm trying to be as clean as possible and i'm just trying to like make progress on this hey everyone so i got a little bit of progress 
done with my sweater vest but then I think I might work on it when we go back to the hotel but I was able to finish like I think two rows <laughs> which I'd like to say is good progress so goodbye still a very nice place 10 out of 10 would recommend Whack, but I am currently in the car, so I'm doing the green, black, orange, and the houndstooth black and white one for the back. And then the front panel, I actually left at home because I started on it, but then, like, because this uses multiple colors and I don't um, cut it and like it's carried on all throughout, it can get pretty messy. So I left the front panel of this better vest at home. And I'm just gonna, I, I started on this panel when we got here yesterday. So, pretty good progress, I think. I think I did a lot. Um, I made the bottom red. So, I made it red because the ribbing will be red. So, the colors will blend in like really easily. It looks really nice and it won't be too hard to hide if, as compared to if I use like the yellow or the green color. Say, say, say yes to the Lord. Ang ganda ng, ano namin, ang ganda ng, ng conversation namin sa group. Hindi ko na sasabihin ko siya yung nag-share ito. But we are almost finished. Yay! I know my clips are very like messy and far apart, but then honestly, that's also like sneak peek into how I crochet. Like, if I have a big commission that I know I probably can't finish within the day, mm, I will work on it on like different times. So, of course, with school, I couldn't really like crochet 24 7 on, and like work on this. So, that's why it's very few and far between. I was able to bring this like the Baguio even. So, hey, I'm very because I still have a lot of things to do and the point of the ribbing was to kind of cinch the bottom is why like it looks kind of pulled together so I'm a little haggard don't mind me but it is currently March 23 um, I had a pretty hectic week at school and now I'm trying to finish the sweater vest in time for tomorrow because I want to be able to hopefully ship it out because um, I have other commissions to finish as well so before the week end, I want to finish this so I think this is as far as I'm gonna get I did some good progress I was able to finish the last um, kind of I was able to finish the last square for this and I started working on the straps so this is gonna be um, the last part of the back panel and I have quite a lot to do for the front panel because I did mess up and with my measurements not gonna talk about that but i'm gonna try to fix everything up with this one and then try to work on everything i finish it hopefully before the weekend <laughs> Literal stra most stressful part of crocheting but then it looks so cute. I think I'll take pictures with this tomorrow and post for next week, but then I'm honestly super proud of it. It looks so cute, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. 